I'm but one of many people that has seen the truth of what the Australian government have done to Chappelle Corby. How they withheld information from her legal team. How they manipulated their organs of state against the Corbys for political strategic need. To some, you will probably think that's a conspiracy theory, but it's not. On the Expendable Projects page, you will see the government's own emails, signed, signatured, of how they were going to manage the Corbys and Chappelle, manipulating the Australian people into thinking that Chappelle Corby was guilty. Personally, I was shocked when I came across this information. I thought, my God, this could be my daughter. I have two daughters. I have a daughter that's the same age as Chappelle. My daughters are having children. Their children are going to school. My granddaughter was born while Chappelle was in jail and now she's at school. This is what Chappelle should be doing. Chappelle should have been given the information, information that the government withheld from her legal team, information that categorically states that Chappelle Corby's bag was interfered with. It was removed off the Sydney Airport Corporation's system. Chappelle Corby can't do that. Chappelle Corby was a traveller, like all other travellers, going on holidays to Bali. It could have been you going anywhere. This whole case is so sad. The Australian media have demonised a family, a working class family, that have done nothing more than try to get ahead in life. They should hang their heads in shame. Like Lindy Chamberlain, and I was in hospital when my daughter was being born the day that Lindy lost her baby. This week, Lindy Chamberlain's name was cleared. The dingo did take the baby. Like Lindy Chamberlain, Chappelle is innocent, and the government know this. The government have known this since 2005. They have withheld information from the Corbys. They have withheld information from the Australian people. John Howard, Handy's advisers, withheld information that could have helped Chappelle Corby prove she was innocent. It's terrible. And everybody out there is being manipulated to believe that Chappelle Corby is guilty. Well, the Expendable Project is a project that proves that the government did withhold information from the Corby family. They did withhold information from the Corby's legal team. They did withhold vital information that there was corruption going on at the airport in Sydney at the time that Chappelle Corby was flying. They withheld this information to protect political need. That poor girl has been in jail now for seven and a half years for a crime she did not commit. And the Australian government knew that she never committed this crime. A crime is being committed against Chappelle Corby. She trusted her government to look after her. She was a citizen who believed that if you were innocent, you would be proven to be innocent. And if you were innocent, your government would help you prove you were innocent. But all the Australian government have ever done to Chappelle Corby is hide. 
hide information. Keep quiet. Bury it. This is totally disgusting. Australians should be able to trust their government. Be able to trust if they need help, the Australian government will be there. Unfortunately, for Chappelle, political need meant more than an innocent life. John Howard and his government, Michael Keelty, Commissioner of the AFP, This can't be condoned. This is disgusting. We can't sit back and allow this to happen. We can't sit back and allow a young woman whose life is being fitted away when she should be like your child, my child, enjoying life, getting married, having a family, seeing the kids go to school, not sitting in a third world country's squalid cell with 13 other women fighting to use one toilet. If you care about your family, you will stand up to this. You will fight to have Chappelle Corby freed because you fighting for Chappelle you are fighting for one of your own. You are fighting for your children's right. You are fighting to have your children be looked after by the Australian government. You will send a message to them telling them that you're not going to take this. I think it's up to everyone here. We can make a difference. We can help Chappelle get free. I urge every one of you who have listened to this, and if it's touched you like it's touched me over the last three and a half years, send emails. Let people know. Chappelle Corby was abandoned by her government. Do it now. Thank you for listening. <laughs>